All right, let's see. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will and I will rejoice and be glad in this day. Why? Because this is the first day of the very best day of our lives. Yesterday is gone and tomorrow may not never come. So we're going to say like the psalmist David, I will bless the Lord. At all times and his praise, hallelujah, shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. The psalmist says, oh, magnify. Come on, somebody. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Well, I want to welcome each one of you to the Well and Wall Prayer Ministry, the church without walls. I want to welcome you on this wonderful Wednesday morning. We know that that song is absolutely on point. Prayer will fix it. Prayer will fix it. Whatever your it is this morning, prayer will fix it every time, not sometime, but every time. Praise God. So I don't want you to worry. Stop worrying. Stop fretting. Uh huh, and just get into some faith. It's faith. It's your faith that pleases God, and not your fear. This is Pastor Lorraine Anderson, and I'm just glad to be amongst the living. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All of those that, that send me birthday wishes this um wonderful birthday weekend that I had with everyone. It just was uh so so awesome. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. So it was so wonderful and uh, just so much love. And I give God praise for that. Uh, don't forget to invite someone uh, while we are here and let them know that we are on the air this morning. Share the uh, broadcast this morning that uh, we can invite others to come and connect with us. I'm believing God for divine connections. This is such a uh, 
strategic time in the Holy Ghost and in the body of Christ of what God is doing. I said, God is doing great things. Yes, it is warfare. Yes, this means war. But yet, I want you to understand that we are victorious. We are victorious because the word of God says, but things be unto God that always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. So we love you this morning. Uh, we have the prayer, some prayer warriors on with us this morning. Let me hear y'all. Let me hear somebody. Amen. That's uh, my wonderful uh, mother, June uh, Wright. She's on with us this morning and ready to pray the prayer of faith. Anyone else on this morning? Anyone? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I think I hear Pastor Kelly Williams on this morning, powerful intercessor. And I'm telling you, God is going to move. He's going to move this morning as we get into this word this morning. But before we do that, I want to remind you. Uh, this morning that we have our 2018 prayer summit and it's fastly approaching. So if you have not yet registered, register, you could register by going to www.eventbrite.com. Amen. You can uh, go there. I don't know what that is, but something popped up. God bless you. Prophetess Alice. God bless you this morning. Uh, but go there, eventbrite.com and forward slash give me my cry back give me my cry back and you can register right there online if that is easier for you uh those of you that would like to register through the postal service you can go to uh pastor lorraine anderson p.o box 522 at Atlanta, california and that zip code is 92301 and just put uh attention well and wall prayer ministry and we'll know that that is your registration god bless you lady d is on with us this morning don't forget to share 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 i don't know how to do it but they say you can share 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 uh the video on this morning so um we're gonna be in the city of marino valley this year uh with pastors willie and ruthie wow. jackson there in marino valley um the number you can call for more information is 909-567-3315. You can call that number for more information if you would like uh, more information about the prayer summit. Now, I know God is going to move. Anytime the saints of God get together, God bless you, uh, Lady Michelle. Anytime the saints of God come together, anytime God always shows up. Why? Because he said it in his word, wherever two or three of us gather together in his name. What did he say? He said, I'm going to be in the midst. So he is our special guest along with uh, prophetess Kathy Stacks coming in for us all the way from Bowling Green, Kentucky. She's going to open up for us that Friday night. Those dates are July the 27th and the 28th. That 28th, we will have a luncheon and uh, fellowship and the word, and it's going to be off the chain, as the kids say. So you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it uh, um, this time of coming together. And again, that's July the 27th and the 28th uh, of this uh Next couple of months, the next couple of months, so get ready. It's going to be off the chain. Amen. So with that being said, with that being said, uh, we are on here every day, 20, well, not 24 hours yet, but we are striving for the 24 hour uh, uh, prayer. We're tr striving forward for that. But we are here every day, uh, seven days a week, praying and sharing the word every day on our prayer line. So if you would like to uh, be a part of that dial. Uh, we are there every day at seven. I'm sorry, eight o'clock a.m. That's Pacific Standard Time. We are there. Call in 774-220-4000. And the access code, of course, is 643-4354. All right. Praise the Lord. Well, let's get into the word of God. Let's get into the word of God. I am excited uh, because the Lord dropped that in my spirit this morning um, as I was uh, praying early this morning and asking the Lord what to share, what to share. And um, the Lord gave me this um, passage of scripture this morning. And I'm so grateful that the Lord uh, deals with us in his word, because without him, without his word, come on, 
I don't know about you, but I could do nothing. I could do nothing without his word. And I'm trying to do my computer and all that at the same time. So bear with me this morning. Amen. This is what I want. Praise the Lord. Well, we're going to go to the scriptures. And of course, as you have seen my theme uh, there in the, the word of God, who do you say? that Jesus is. Do you know Jesus? And I want you all to kind of connect with me this morning and and put your answers up on the screen. Uh, How do you know Jesus? Who do you say Jesus is? And I I want you to just kind of just give me some feedback this morning. Don't just watch, but just give me some, who do you say Jesus is? Do you know Jesus? And, and, and how do you know Jesus? Come on, somebody. And this is so, so, so vitally important because Mother June, many times we know about a person, but we don't know that person. And I think that's a very dangerous place to be, but yet it is where many are. are. And I hate to say even the saints, even those that are in Christ, uh, praise God, we know about Jesus, but we haven't stayed long enough to know who he is. So I want to know who you say Jesus is. Who do you say that Jesus is? This was a question that Jesus asked the disciples. He asked his disciples, who do you say that I am? Anybody there, who do you say? Mother June, who do you say Jesus is? I'm listening this morning. Uh, I tell him he's my Savior and he's my healer. All right. Amen. Mother says she knew him as a Savior and a healer. All right, Mother, I can witness to that. Praise God. Anybody else, who do you say Jesus is? Do you know him? All right, we don't have nobody else who's got anything else to say about Jesus. All right, that's so strange. All right, my daughter Lorena said that Jesus is her Lord, her Savior. I'm trying to get off of me. Her deliverer, hold on, baby, hold on. Her deliverer, he is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Who do you say Jesus is? All right, I think that was Sister Cheetah. Sister Cheetah, who do you say Jesus is? I say he is to me, he's king of kings, he's lord of lords, he's bread when you're hungry, he's water when you're thirsty. Yes. He's everything that you need, he's your keeper, he's your all in all. Yes. He's my provider, he's my lawyer in time of trouble. Get out of here, I'm on the line. Go out. All right. All right. Yes, Praise yes. God. Uh, that's right. that's some good the stuff right, right there. Uh, uh, Prophetess Alice say he's a healer. Yes, Lord. Praise God. And you said so many things about him. You and uh, Lady Lorena have said so many different different things about him. Well, tell me about him being a healer for you, uh, Sister Cheetah. Tell me about that. Yeah. Amen. Oh. I had to put the phone back on me because the hey, baby just Okay. Came All right. Um, yes. I know he's a healer. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. I know he, she wants to be quiet. I know he's a healer because he healed me. Numerous of times from massive heart attacks, from blood clots in my lungs, from mm. knee injuries, from back injuries. And then I know it wasn't nobody but him mm. that healed me and saved me. Wow. Wasn't nobody but him. I wouldn't be here today. Mm. Yes, Lord. Amen. If he wasn't a healer, I wouldn't be here today if he wasn't a healer. Mm. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> she said from a massive heart attack, she knew him to be a healer and a deliverer from back uh, uh, trouble and knee surgery and she knew him to be a healer because that she had to go through something in order to know who Jesus was. Amen. God bless you evangelist, uh, prophetess Anita. God bless you. Good morning. Uh, amen. Uh, 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 you all need to give me some feedback. Prophetess Alice say he's a healer. He's a deliverer. Praise God. Amen. Anybody else? Who do you say Jesus is? Who do you know Jesus to be? And how do you know that Jesus is who he is? Anyone else? Mother June, anybody else that want to comment on that yeah. this morning? One thing about it, he's a keeper. He's a keeper. He's a, he's a yeah. He's, he's our joy in the time of sorrow. Yeah. Amen. Amen. 
Uh, Prophet Zala say he's Jehovah Jireh. He's a provider. How many know him to be a provider? He's a provider. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. This is a question I'm asking this morning because Jesus just uh, asked the disciples one day, Mother June. He said, who do men say that I am? And I'm asking you today because I want to know who you say that Jesus is on this morning. Who do you say that Jesus is? My God. Anyone else? Anyone else? Hallelujah. This stirs me up right here. Glory to God. Anyone else? Hallelujah. Anyone else know Jesus and who he is? God bless you. Uh, Prophetess Tate has joined us this morning. Who do you say that Jesus is? Come on, give me some feedback. Anybody else there? Somebody said a strong defender. Yes, God. Somebody said he's their peace. Yes, God. Uh huh. Somebody said he's a way maker. He is the great I am. Yes, Lord. Come on, give me some feedback. Yes, Lord. Somebody else need to know who Jesus is. And the only way that they're going to know who Jesus is is through you. And so I'm asking you, who do you say that Jesus is? And I've gotten some good feedback this morning. Uh, the woman of God, uh, yeah, Prophet Zanita say he's a light in darkness. I love that. Praise God. A peace, a, a place of safety and refuge. Yes, God. Glory to God. Amen. Brother Jovan just joined us on this morning. Who do you say that Jesus is? Come on. Give me some feedback. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you this morning because I want to stir something up in you. I want to stir something up. I, I want you to know that you know that you know that you know who Jesus is. Uh-huh. The, the Bible says, Mother June, that as Jesus was was there communing with the disciples and he just asked them, who, who do men say that I am? And you know, they began to reply different things, different things. And I like this because as the Lord was dealing with me about it, praise God. He said, some said John the Baptist and others said Elijah and others said Jeremiah, one of the prophets. Amen. Somebody say he's my rescuer. Hey, ba ba ba, Shanda. Glory to God. Somebody say he's my advocate. Yes, God, we give you praise this morning. Who do you say that Jesus is? And you know what I like about this? Amen. Anybody else want to give me some feedback? Who do you say Jesus is? And how do you know that Jesus is who you say he is? Uh huh. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. He's my He's my all in all. Mm. Everything I need is in Him. In every area of my life, spiritually, naturally, everything that I need emotionally, uh, mentally. Mm. He, he's my healer, my doctor, my keeper, my best friend. He's everything to me. When I can't go another step, he's my footprints in the sand. My God. I, I just love him. I can't say enough about him. Amen. Amen. Every area. Just, he just keep on and keep on and keep on proving himself and showing himself strong and mighty in my life. Amen. Amen. That, that is so powerful. God bless you. Uh, uh, King uh, Martin has joined us this morning. Share this. I think this is a powerful, powerful word this morning. Somebody said a bridge over troubled water. My God. Hallelujah. Who do you say that Jesus is? And how do you know that he is who you say he is? Glory to God. That is our topic on this morning. Amen. Who do you say that Jesus is? We're going to pray. Somebody said he's my rescue. I like that right there. Woo, glory. Hallelujah. Anybody ever needed to be rescued? Hallelujah. He said to the, the boys, he said, who do men? This was the first uh, thing that Jesus said. Uh, who do men? That means who around you uh, have talked about Jesus and what are they saying about this man, Jesus? Glory to God. He He's making it, uh, well, you know, it's kind of uh, corporate right here. Who do men say that I am? You, you're talking to the I am, but he wants to know who do men say that I am? And I, I heard the woman of God just a few minutes ago say he's my all in all. Yes, God. And when she began to, to birth that out, amen, uh, uh, she, she said he's a, uh, her eyes, glory to God. When she began to birth that out, Mother June, I, I, I heard the Lord and my spirit say to me, 
Uh huh. It's in Him I live. I can't do nothing without an all in all. Yeah. In Him I move. Come on, my Shanda. In Him, it's in Him that I have my being. Uh, so I could go on and on and on, but I want to give you a chance to, to, uh, birth out and speak it into your atmosphere. Uh huh. I just said something who Jesus is. I said, speak it into your atmosphere. I know some of you are texting and, and putting it up on the screen, but as you put it up on the screen, I want you to release it into your atmosphere, into your hemisphere, into your stratosphere, into your region. I want you to release it. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. I know who Jesus is to me. He, the, he asked them, if you will. And I and they when they got to and some say you are one of the prophets. Yes, God. Oh, somebody say he's my life. I like that because I can. <laughs> he's my life. I can do nothing without him. I'm nothing. Absolutely nothing but dust and ashes. I'm nothing without him. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Yes, God, my sister was on. She said he's a healer. Uh-huh. When I had that massive heart attack, he's a healer. I got another sister, praise God, that can witness to God being a healer, delivering her and healing her from uh, uh, stage four cancer. Amen. And after the, the diagnosis from the doctor and he told her, he said, literally, and you know, nobody wants to hear that, uh, a death sentence. He literally said to her, he said, you only have maybe about six months to live because of the, the cancer cells had spread it and got all in the lip notes and the breasts and all and everything. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. That's right, man of God. And and so when we came back and, and she was just so distraught because of the report of the doctor. Well, I want you to know it's been 20 years and she's still here. My God. So she can testify that God is a healer. My God, Apostle Paul says, when Christ, who is the our life, comes. That's right, man of God. Praise. I, I want you to give me some feedback on this this morning. Who do you say that Jesus is? He's a problem solver. I like that. Y'all going on to help me this morning. I love this. Amen. A protector. Yes, he is. Come on, somebody. Who do you say, Jesus? And how do you know that Jesus is who he say he is on this morning? Praise God. Somebody said he's a strong deliverer. Ooh, do anybody know him as a strong deliverer? Yes, God. Ooh, my shanda na ma sheke de bo. He's a strong deliverer. Yeah, ba shena na na siya. Ma na 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 siya. Ma Jehovah Gilboa. He's a mighty man to war. A faithful provider. Yes, I I can witness to that right there. He's faithful. Uh huh. Somebody say uh huh uh, that he's faithful. I know he's faithful. Uh huh. Because when me and my babies was I run around here and didn't have nothing coming in. Amen. Wasn't no food in the cabinet. I'm just letting you know a little something here. And, and just the faith, just showing God my faith and setting the table without anything. But I want you to know before the day was gone, he provided. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. He's faithful. He's faithful. Anybody else? I feel this this morning because I want you to speak it as you are beginning to, to put it up on the screen. Release it. A strong tower. Yes, he is. You, the, the Bible declares the righteous can run in, run in, and they are safe. Somebody said, uh-huh, yes, he is so faithful. He's faithful. He's self-faithful. My God, help us to be faithful, Lord. Somebody say he's a help in the time of need. Yes, he is. Come on, Nana Mashanda. He's a very present help. He's, he's present. And, and right now, in the help that you need, he's present. Uh-huh. Anyone else? Who do you say that Jesus is? I, I'm almost done. Y'all didn't help me this morning. You didn't help me this morning. You have encouraged my heart. And I pray that you are encouraging someone else as we are uh, 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 putting it out who Jesus is. And let me tell you what the Bible says. The Bible says, so he, they said, you're one of the prophet. Then the word said, but Jesus asked them now, but what about you? I'm reading from uh, another uh, version. He said, but what about you? Who do you say I am? 
Now, you didn't tell me what others think, but who do you say that I am? The woman of God said he's a redeemer. And I like this because it says, Jesus asked them, uh, uh, who do you say that I am? And then as, after they have given all of these answers, now the word of God says, then Simon Peter answered. Simon Peter says, you are the Christ. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. Oh, yeah. You you are the Christ. Right. Yeah, yeah, we, we know you're all of these things, but you are the Christ. I like that, Mama June. You are the Christ, the son of the living God. I, I, come on. I, I know we, we, we worship things and we worship people, but, but here Peter got a revelation. He got, he got a revelation, Mother June. I like that. That Bible. I love that Bible. Peter got a revelation. Yeah. Hmm? And, it, and, and I like it because Jesus says to him, now you didn't get this by yourself. Is anybody there? You didn't get this revelation by yourself. Yeah. That, 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 that the Lord had to, to reveal to you who I am. He's all of these great things. Yes, God. He's, yeah. he's all of these wonderful things that we know. Yes, God. But then Peter said, after all of that, he said, wait a minute, hold on. You are the Christ, the son of the living God. I, there's a, a word in my Bible, Mother June, that said, he that has the uh -huh. son has life, and he that has not the has son life. has not life. Has not life. Uh -huh. That's right. You, you got to have the son in order to have life. Yes, uh, God. That's right. You have to have Jesus. You can't come no other way. He said to him, he said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus looks at him and I like this. I'm trying to go through my notes and I'm, I'm kind of all everywhere with my notes here. But Jesus looks at him and he lets him know, Peter, you didn't get this on your own. You didn't get this revelation on your own. He says, but it was revealed to you from my father, which is in heaven. Someone just called in and you have maybe your phone on speaker and we're getting a feedback from you. If you would just put your phone on mute when you call in, praise God. If you want to say something, take it off mute and then we can hear you here uh, on the, uh, the live on the Facebook live. Amen. Praise God. So he tells him, he said, Peter, okay, let me try to go without the notes. Amen. He says, Peter, the, you didn't get this on your own. Flesh and blood no. did not give you this answer, but did not give you that. No, it, it didn't get, he didn't give it that. You didn't get that in the flesh. Somebody hear this. You didn't get that Peter in the flesh, but by the spirit, the father downloaded into you that this is the son of God. This is the Messiah. This is the Lamb of God. This is the sacrifice right here. This is the atonement for all sin. <laughs> Glory to God. He revealed it to you, Peter. And then he turns around, if I'm not mistaken, and he said, Peter, I'm going to give you something. He said, Peter, upon this rock, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you, Peter, that's listening to the sound of my voice this morning. Peter. Upon this rock, I'm talking about you. He said, I'm going to build my church. Yeah. Hallelujah. And then he said, and the gates of hell shall yeah. not prevail against it. Ha, da, 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 ba, she, the, the gates of hell, the, the, the vortex where the spirits come in and out of, uh, he, he said those, the things that, that are dead, the underworld, he, glory to God. He said, Peter, they, they shall not prevail. He said, cause I'm giving you some authority. Anybody right there? He said, Peter, I'm talking yeah. to you, Peter. Those of you that are listening to me for today's, I'm talking to you, Peter. He said, today, I've given you some keys. Mother June, we know anytime you, you hear the, the, uh, um, scripture that say God has given you some keys. He said, giving you some keys to the kingdom. And then he says to him, he said, whatever you buy, is anybody buying anything? 
Whatever you buy. Hey, glory to God. If you take care of this ram, I got the, the next ram. He said, whatever you bind on earth. My God, he said, I got you in heaven. I, I got you in the heavenlies. I, I've given you some authority mm -hmm, to bind some things. Lock it up. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 if you want something locked up and you don't want it to be birthed out in the earth realm, he said, I'll give you some authority to lock it up. Those demonic forces that's coming through the vortex of hell and they're seeking to possess somebody or something. No spirit likes to be disembodied. They want to possess the whole thing about Satan. He wants to uh, to possess. He wants to own. He wants to control uh, you because now, listen, the Lord loves you. And because God loves you and because God's hand is upon you, amen, the enemy wants to put his hand on you. But God said, don't worry about that. He said, I've given you some keys to the kingdom. Yes, uh, Ooh, glory yes, to God. I've given you that. Peter, you ain't got to worry. I'm talking to some Peters this morning. He said, I've given you some yeah. keys. And the thing about it, Mother June, is that we have the keys to the kingdom, but somebody is not using the keys. I told him on the other day, I said, we have to learn to bind what we don't want. Speak what we want, bind what we don't want. Speak what you want, because why the Bible declares that the power of life and death is in your tongue. Come on, shit, that little bullshit. Are you decreeing and declaring? In and am Are you decreeing and declaring anything this morning? Hallelujah, Jesus. What are you doing with your keys, Peter? Woo. Hey, ka ba ba ba. Shonda, da, da. You got the revelation of who Jesus is, but what are you doing with the keys that he's giving you now? What are you doing about the gates of hell? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, ka ba ba. What are you doing? Are you sitting back waiting on somebody? That not, God then gave you the keys. You have the authority, but you're waiting on somebody to say, uh, you got some keys, use them. Well, what, what are you waiting on? How do you know that God is not who he is if you ne never had a, a problem, if you never had a situation, if you never had an encounter? See, I think what is going on, uh, uh, people of God, is that so many are playing war games. They're playing the game of war, but they're not really yeah. getting into the essence of war, but they're playing the game. Go they're playing on. the game. Go ahead. Daughter, they're playing a game of war, but I want you to know those of you that are playing, that you're playing this game, uh, the devil ain't playing. Satan, He's once Lucifer playing. is not playing, huh? He Shanda. He plays for keeps. And, but God is saying, if you understand the power that I've given it to, unto you, you understand that the, the authority, mm -hmm, yes, God, the authority that I've given unto you, yes, God, then you will be that gatekeeper that God is calling for. All right. Yeah. Anybody know anything about a gatekeeper? Hey, glory to God. Yeah. God needs some gatekeepers. In this time span, he needs some gatekeeper, somebody that'll sit at the gate in the spirit and say, uh, this can't come in. Oh, that's good. You can come in, but that can't come in. Uh, th but this can come in. Some gatekeeper, some watchers. Do I have anybody that's looking at me this morning that can say, I'm a gatekeeper because I got some keys? Yes, God. One thing about gatekeepers, they're not intimidated. Gatekeepers are not intimidated. I, I, God can't use no coward soldier. I say gatekeepers are not intimidated. You must learn how to not operate in the flesh. It's good, okay? You know, we live in a fleshly body. We're, we're triune beings. But, but we must learn to operate in the spirit realm. With the keys that God has given unto us because somebody need to just put it up on the screen. This is spiritual. When you woke up this morning, hallelujah.
Hallelujah. You walk up between two worlds. Shande Ikobosha. That's the natural and the spiritual. And it takes the Holy Ghost to become your navigator, your GPS system. To help you to navigate through this life. You need the Holy Ghost. He's the one that helps you to use your keys. Yes, God. And he says, whatever you buy. is some spirits operating in your realm illegally. I'm talking to somebody. I don't know who I'm talking to. There's some spirits that's operating, thank you, Father God, in your family illegally. Do anybody hear this this morning? It's some spirits that's operating in your churches illegally. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's some spirits that's operating in your marriages illegally. And what happens? What happens when, when the thief comes in and, and, and you catch the thief? When you catch him, you know he got to pay back, Mother June. You got to pay back everything he stole. And you got to pay it back with interest, huh? Praise the Lord. But when the thief comes in, you arrest him. The police comes in, he catches him, he arrests him. Amen. God is saying, I've given you that same ability, that same power to know. You can't do it if you don't know who Jesus is. If you don't understand that this is not a game. This is life. This is a game of life that have already been played and laid out. And you win. You and I win. Listen, don't get despondent because you get hit sometimes. My sister said she had a massive heart attack. But if she never had a massive heart attack, she wouldn't know God to be a healer. Come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. See, Amen. Don't worry about the test and the trial. Stop blaming. Every time we get into something, my God, every time the devil sticks his old ugly head up, the first thing that you do is blame God. Stop it. Stop it. First thing you want to do is, is walk away from God. Why, Lord, let this happen to me? Well, why not? Why not you? You got to know who Jesus is. Songwriter said, if you never had a problem, you wouldn't know that God can solve them. God is never, from what he has taught me, praise God, he come out Shanda. He's never, Baba Shanda. He's never going to create a lifestyle where you and I don't need him. Okay. Go ahead. D don't don't worry about Jesus. Leave him on the back burner. You know, just just okay. Jesus is around, but I'm gonna go over here to my best friend, and and I'm gonna just you know believe that my best friend can help me. Uh huh. Praise God. I'm on just. I, I'll deal with Jesus later. I'm under severe attack, but I guess I'll just uh go get me uh, uh whatever they drink in the day. Whatever they drinking, you know, I, I used to drink pina coladas and, and, and uh, strawberry margaritas and stuff like that. So I don't know what people are drinking today, but whatever it is, I guess I'll go and handle it like this because, OK, thank you, Father God. Maybe it's not alcohol, but maybe it's some kind of um, narco or whatever they selling now or taking uh, from the doctor. I'm trying to hit somebody. So I'm trying to come to somebody's house. Amen. I'm not going to really trust in the Lord that one of my daughters down in Alabama, uh, my spiritual daughter, she had went under attack uh, the other day and, and had a mini stroke. And as they got on the prayer line and we began to pray and she said, I couldn't, she couldn't feel anything in her feet. I think it was her right side. Y'all, it was it her right side. I think it was the right or the left. I couldn't remember. But as she began to tell us, she couldn't hardly get it out. She said, I'm not going to the doctor. She went to the church. She called the prayer line. And we heard, we heard her as the words came out of her mouth, a slurred mouth where she could hardly form the words, it is well. Ha! Shabababash! It is well. 
She said, I'm going to trust God. I'm going to believe God against all the odds. It is well. I know what I'm dealing with. I know what I feel. I know what is going on in my physical body, but it is well. My faith is saying it is well. I believe God against all the odds. She called back on the prayer line a couple of days later and said, it is well. She could speak. She could feel her. She ran around the church and God just brought in because of faith in God, knowing, yes, I had to go through this to get to that. I had to, she had to learn, like I'm talking to somebody, we're getting ready to pray, let me get out of here. Uh huh. She had to learn how to see Christ in her crisis. I got that from my daughter right there. I said she had to learn how to see Christ in her crisis. She had to remember that Jesus was on board in the midst of the storm. So now, guess what, Mama June, she can say, I know that he's a healer. I like that Bible over there. My brother Paul, he left it on record uh, and, and the 8th chapter and the 28th verse. He said, and we know. That's why I asked you, do you know? He said, and we know. Come on, Dios said it about she. I've been through the storm and the rain, but I made it and, and now I know. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I didn't die in the storm. I came out with a testimony. And I know. Nobody has to tell my story. I can tell my own story. And I know that everything, not something, but all things, is working together. It's working together. Come on. The heart attack. The 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 uh, going through the cancer, my God, Shetakobo, Shenenelabashi, going through uh huh the disappointment, going through the heartaches and the trials and the test of life. When I told you that sometimes life will deal you a hand that you got to play, uh huh. You can't throw it back. You just got to play that hand. But doing those sundry times, I know. I know. I know who Jesus is. Uh huh. My brother David said, I will lift up my eyes unto the yeah. hills. From whence cometh my help? Cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Coming from the Lord. Yes, Lord, my help. All my help. All my help. All my help. All of my help. I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know where, but I know that all of my help come from the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I know. So when Jesus asks me, who do I say that he is? Then I have, I have an answer. You are the Christ, the son of the living God. On this morning, we're going to get ready to pray. Those of you that have any any kind of prayer request, if you want to put it up on the screen. Last time, they uh, I didn't get your prayer request until after we had gone off the air. But I did write them down. I did take them to the prayer line, and we did pray over them. But those of you that have a prayer request, an urgent prayer request, yeah, Mother Anderson, I need to pray. I need the saints to come into agreement about this right now. And I know some of us, Mother June, have long lists. We have long lists. But there is something that's urgent. There is something that that you need God to do right now. And if you have a prayer request, we're going to get ready to come together and pray the prayer of faith on this morning. Amen. I want you all to continue to lift up my baby girl. And her prayer request for her prayer team. Amen. Uh, my daughter, Lorena. Lorena said that she needs prayer. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lift her up. My baby girl's uh, little Zipporah. She's over in Honduras. Amen. God bless you. My baby girl, um, Lady Kim, just joined us on this morning. God bless you, baby. I love you. Uh, but she's there with her team on her first missionary trip. And I want to... Um, 
lift up her and her team uh, there in Honduras, over in Honduras. Uh, a lot of spiritual warfare. Yes, amen. So we, we want to, um, good morning, precious. I love you so much. We want to take your prayer requests. Those of you uh, that need prayer, I want you to be praying. We're yet lifting up Prophetess Myra Bearfield there in Denver, yeah. Denver yeah. Colorado. Uh, Pastor Bernella Thomas there in Alabama. We're yet lifting you up and coming into agreement that the Lord will continue to strengthen you uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically. Just continue to strengthen this uh, woman of God has been in so much warfare. We're lifting you up. We're praying for the fivefold ministry. We're praying that the Lord will continue to yeah. raise us up, Mother June, in this hour that we will not cower yeah. under adversity. We want to be uh, strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Well, you're praying for my mother, June, that just uh, lost her sister, her oldest sister and a brother-in-law. We're yet praying for her and her family. Um, there was uh, someone else needed prayer. I think they uh, they just lost their son. He just 32 years old and he just fell dead to Davison's. Um, well, we're praying for that family. I think they were Lady, uh, Lady D. Okay, okay. We're yet yeah. praying for that family. We're praying, oh. amen, that the Lord will help us in this endeavor, in our kingdom assignment. We're praying, we're praying. Anyone else have a prayer request? We are getting ready to pray this morning. Anyone else? I pray you were blessed by the word. I have a prayer request. Okay. So Go ahead, I can hear you. I have a prayer request for the Clark family. Um, Ethel's nephew tried to fight her yesterday, and she had uh, had to put him in jail. She had to call the police and stuff. So it's been kind of, you know, a lot of chaos in here yesterday. So my prayer request is for peace in this house. And my grandson Stacy is going back and forth to court trying to get joint custody uh, of his son. So my prayer request is for him and my grandson. Um, What's his name, Lorraine? Antoine mm -hmm. and uh, my siblings Lisa for healing, my sister Precious for healing, uh, my sister Pastor Anderson or whatever her heart desires are for Pastor Kelly, Mother June, Myra, Amen, uh, uh, Sister Darlene, Sister D, Lady Amen. D, and um, the whole household, and Amen. that uh, my entire class is studying for the finals next week, and I pray that we all pass. Amen. Amen. Uh, God bless you. And, and we want your most urgent, 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 urgent prayer request. We want your most urgent prayer request on this morning. As I said, I know the list is long, but we want to pray for that most urgent prayer request. And uh, we want peace for the Clark family. I believe she said the Clark family, the enemy trying to come in and he always tries to come in in families. So we want to be praying for the Clark family. Uh, while we are praying and also for those of you that are in school and taking tests and getting ready to graduate we are praying also for you uh, that everything will uh, work out that the Lord will meet every need uh, as you are going through this endeavor anyone else anyone else have a prayer request before we pray this morning anyone else good morning mother and to all that's on the prayer line this morning this is Myra and um, I just want to say thank God for another day. Yes. Thank God for another time to, to to lift him up and to give him praise. I just thank God this morning. I was uh, on the prayer line and Jarrell called in while I was on. Uh -huh. So I had to, you know, release it and, and talk to him. Yes. And, you know, as I was talking to Jarrell, you know, God, he, he's just so good. He began to, you know, remind me of the things that he has done that, yeah. you know, really that he wasn't supposed to do. You know, yes. I, I've i gone to see Jarrell and, and, and couldn't see him, and, and God made a way for me to do that. I, I, I went one time and I had my phone in my in my in my coat mm -hmm. and I wasn't supposed to have my phone there and 
you know, they looked at my record and they said, you know, you haven't had any incidences and, and they will let me go and see Jarrell. So, you know, the favor of God has yes. been with me mm-hmm. yes. through seeing Jarrell, you know, through all the time that he's been there. And I just thank God for that. I thank God Hallelujah. for another day of life, another day yes. of health, yes. another yes. day of strength, you. you know. And I'm just, I'm asking y'all to pray. This is just a, 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 a prayer request of mine that, you know, in that 14th chapter of Matthew, at the end of it, it says that they were all made perfectly whole. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm not, a, not unappreciative to anything. You know, I use the walker. Mm-hmm. You know, I use the cane if yeah. I have to. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm believing God that I don't have to walk with those extra things. Yes. And, you know, it's something going on with my tongue. I don't know what it is, but sometimes it sounds like to me that I'm not speaking as clearly as I can. Okay. But, you know, I'm asking God. I am asking God. You know, we used to say it, you know, from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Yes. And I'm asking God, you know, to touch me. To That's touch right. me. Mm. And you know, God, I, I don't want to just make it sound pitiful anything, but you know, Mother, they say I coded it two times. Yes, that's what they and, told me. Uh, mm-hmm. they, they said that, you know, I, I wasn't supposed to be here, but you know, God reminded me through this, this woman with the issue of blood on mm. this morning. How she wasn't supposed to be there. How people counted her out. Yes. And I just thank God that, you know, that he didn't count me out. But he said that you can live on. And, you know, that song, I got a testimony. Yes. And, you know, he said I could have been dead and gone. But he told me to live on. So I'm expecting God to do just what he got planned for me. Because I know he got a plan for Myra. I know he does. Yes. So I thank God that, Mother, you still got the baton in your hand. You still running, you know, with it. I thank God for that. I thank yes. God that we can still come on yes. and share with one another. So, you know, just keep my children, Cedric, Dietrich, Jarrell, and Chanel, Manny, Elijah, Lil Dietrich, and CJ, you know, and keep us all up in prayer, yes. you know, and I hear it. I hear, I think it was Lisa or Cheetah, one of them calling out my name this yes, morning. And, yes. You know, that's what's going to keep me and all of us strong is that when we lift up each other. That's right. When we, yeah. We're not here to tear anybody down. Mm-hmm. But when we lift up each other, that's going to keep us strong. So I thank God for this morning. And y'all just keep keep me lifted up here in prayer. And I'm, I'm praying here in Denver. I'm not just sitting around where they praying for me. I'm praying right I here know. in Denver as well. So I love you and I thank you so much. Amen. Amen. It's so good to hear your voice this morning on the prayer line. It's so good when I got the news that uh, they had told me uh, that you had been down, you had, your heart had stopped, and you know, and they it was just nothing but what we call bad news. But I know what prayer can do. And we began to pray, Mother June. I'm, I don't just say those words. I believe God against all the odds. When the odds are against, hey, come on, there yeba, shana ne, yelarabosha. When the odds are against you, I believe that you can find somebody that can get a prayer through. Amen. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. And and she said that God made them. The Lord made them perfectly whole. It can both she. If you could see my sisters now, uh, uh, after what they've gone through, you wouldn't know that they went through what they went through because God don't leave any residue when He does it. He does it okay. well. Amen. Right. When He does it, he, when He does it, He does it well. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Na, 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 my sheep. Yeah, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love the Lord. I, I'm getting your prayer requests and they are going up. So um, if I miss it and I don't call it out, we're yet praying and I can always go back after the um, broadcast and I can get it and make sure that we 
we have it here on the prayer line. But yes, that and, and that's yeah. something I want to say very quickly before we pray this morning that yes, we have moved. God is shifting. He's taken us from this to that in an instant. But yet, don't forget, this is spiritual. Yes, Father God, I thank yeah. you. We're getting ready for 21 days of prayer and fasting starting June the 2nd. Uh, we will end on June the 22nd. Uh, 21 days of consecration. Those of you that would like to email me your prayer request, you can email it to me. Uh, and we're going to take it before the Lord. And pray. I'm praying for prayer teams, prayer ministries all over the world, all over the world during these 21 days. But let me just drop this in your mailbox. Even though God is answering, there is still warfare in the heavenlies. I talked yeah. about being being a, a gatekeeper and, and uh, 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 keeping and watching from the gates of hell. You got to watch because that that that's a vortex uh, where spirits come in and out. Spirits. I said spirits, not human beings. And, and the Lord has the key. If you go over there and read it in Revelation 1 and 18, he has the keys to death, hell and the grave. God has given you the keys to the kingdom. And so uh, we are the ones that have to bind and loose. We have, we're the ones that have to come into agreement. There is yet warfare. The Bible says when Daniel prayed 21 days, God said, I heard you the first day. He released the answer the first yeah. day. Is anybody hearing this? He said he released the answer yeah. the first day. But the prince of Persia. Yeah. I don't know the dark prince that's over your life or over your city, over your family, over your church. But there is a dark prince. And you got to tap into the realm of the spirit and pull down. Hey, Shanda. You got to do the warfare. And I like this because he said, one of y'all is bad by yourself. One of you can chase a thousand, but two of you coming together in agreement. That's the power of a prayer. That's what God is calling for, that yeah. divine connection. That's the reason why the woman of God, the women of God that you've heard on the line this morning, that's why you still hear them is because of the power of agreement. Because she's prayed and God is still honoring it's still, let me say, okay, let me get out of here. Let's pray. We're going to pray because I could be here. Yes, God, it's going to be warfare. This means war. God called you and inducted you into his army. Yes, Lord. Amen. And if you pray, you'll stay. If you fast, you'll last. If you can take it, you Amen. can make it. Don't forget that. Yeah. Don't forget that. Yes, Lord, we're praying uh, yet for, um, I seen Lady D had, uh, several names up on the, um, the screen of the young lady that lost her son. She had her name up on the screens and, and we're praying in agreement, Mother June, for those prayer requests. Amen. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, Hernandez family, we're praying for them as well. Uh, while we're praying. And all of you, I want to may, uh, pray. God bless you uh, uh, on this morning, Billy Jordan. God bless you this morning. We're getting ready to pray the prayer of faith. If you have a prayer request, and those of you that have been attacked physically, I want you to let me know, Mother Anderson. Pray because the enemy is attacking my body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to be made whole. I want to be made whole. No. I want to be made Thank whole. You, I'm on my that Oboshi. And while I'm praying for you, pray for me. Because he attacks me in, the, in this body as well. Praise the Lord. But pray, pray. She said, pray one for another. Connect with yeah. me in the spirit. Amen. God, he, he's not the author of confusion, but he don't also deal with jealousy, envy, and strife. We're all one. He said, Father, make them one. I don't think you can divide one. They they got some so all this new math now, so I, I'm way back, way back. I, I can't do it. And so y'all pray for me about that. But but I don't think that you can divide one. He said, Father, make them one, even as we are one. Yeah. So that means, Mother June, I have to feel you when something is going on. I have to pick you up in the realm of the spirit. Amen. The Davis family. That's the mother that lost her son. We're praying for her. Amen. I have to pick you up in the spirit. 
And that's why we have you to release your name into the atmosphere. So the prayer warriors, the gatekeepers, the watchmen on the wall can pick you up in the realm of the spirit and intercede on your behalf. And not only on your behalf, but on the behalf of all of those that's connected to you. Amen. God bless you, uh, uh, Eric. God bless you, Arlington. God bless you this morning. That we want prayer warriors to pick. I need you. I need you to connect and tap in to the spirit realm. That's what the war, whatever you bind. That's yeah. what he told him this morning, Mother June. That's what Jesus told him. He said, whatever, whatever you bind. Yeah. If you, if you uh-huh. bind it, I'm going to bind it. If, if you loose it, I'm going to loose it. Uh-huh. Glory to God. We got to pray, saints. Because Jesus said it. He said, yeah. men... Mankind ought to always pray. Oh, We're getting ready to pray this yeah. morning. Amen. Anybody else have a prayer request, an urgent prayer request, and you need us to come into agreement with you for that prayer request? Anyone else? Anyone else? Somebody need a, a financial miracle? Yes. Uh-huh. They, you, you're sick, not in your body, but in your finances, in your currency. I want to pray for you this morning. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. I just heard the spirit of the Lord say, just remind them if they have a need, plant a seed. Because you cannot be God given. Amen. We're getting ready to pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mother June, you've heard many of the prayer requests this morning. Are you available to pray this morning, Mother June? Amen. Do I have any other, any other warriors that's available to pray this morning? Pray the prayer of faith on this morning. Mm-hmm. Any other warriors that's on with us today that's available to pray? Okay, I just got I'm my, available. I just got Mother June. Okay, and someone else said that. Who is that? Oh, it's me. Tina. All right, amen. Praise God. Uh, uh, Sister Sharon is going to pray this morning. Uh, uh, on this morning, we're praying. Uh, Prophetess Anita, she needs a financial miracle for her household. We're praying this morning. Anyone else available to pray this morning? It's time to pray. Glory to God. Amen. Pray the prayer of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Those of you that are praying, I, we want to pray. We ain't, we're not trying to, to grandstand. We want to pray and we want to get it in and get out of it and pray for the needs of the people. Anyone else that's available to pray? All right. What we're going to do, uh, have Mother June to pray for the families, for uh, the children. Pray for the children, the sons and daughters, the families. The sons right. and daughters. And then we're going to let Sister Sharon pray for deliverance. We're going to let her pray for deliverance. All of you that need to be delivered, we're going to let her pray right yeah. after that one, right after the other. Amen. And then we're going to get ready to close this thing out this morning. Why? Because this means war. Praise God. So as a uh, mother is going to start and then Sister Sharon and, the, and everybody else is going to do what? I don't hear nobody. Come into into agreement. agreement. Amen. We're coming into agreement on this morning. Uh, Mother June, come on and take us to the throne of grace. God bless you on this morning. Yes, Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come boldly to the throne of grace. Lord, we live in up holy hands without love and without doubt. Now, Father, we thank you. You heard every request this morning. But, Father, we pray for our young people, Lord. Young people of today, families, Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, save, deliver, and set the captive free. Lord, heal sick bodies, Lord Jesus, sick minds, and Lord, break up that father ground in the heart. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the Father, we thank you for what you're doing, what you're going to do. Father, you heard every request, everyone that went up before you. But, Father, we pray for our young people. My God. We pray for our sons and our daughters. 
We pray for our families in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord, that you heal our sick bodies, set the captives free. Lord, yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus, whatever the need is, Father, we look into you, Jesus, because you are the author and the finish of our faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, you are deliverer, our keeper, our soon coming king. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are a battle axe. Your name is like a hammer that breaks the rocks in pieces. My God. Lord, we curse every sickness, every disease. Lord, that attacked our family, our young people. Wherever it is, Lord Jesus, destroy it, destroy it right now. We got a whole shot in the name of Jesus. Lord, heal sick body, set the captives free. Continue to touch our young people. Give them a mind to be saved, mind to be delivered, mind to be set free. In the name of Jesus, our sons and our daughters. Lord, bless me, numbers of the world. Lord, Jesus, across this nation, let your blood cover. Let your blood prevail. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, everywhere, Lord, from the north, south, east, and west. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Lord, continue to pray for our young people, Lord. Lord Jesus, so we pray for them. So you call them because they're young and they're old because they know their way. In the name of Jesus, and I decree and declare that every request that went before you, Lord, all for our young people, the sons and daughters, Lord, and the family members, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would save, heal, and deliver. Yes, Let Lord. Let the captive free. Hallelujah. And I decree and declare. Yes, Lord, that it shall be established. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Yes, no weapon formed against us, your pastor. And every tongue that rises up against the indemnity, thou shalt condemn, saith the Lord. In Jesus' name. In amen. Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lord, in the God, in the mighty name of Jesus, first yes, of all, Lord. I want to thank you, God, for waking me up this morning in my right state of mind. God, I just want to thank you for everything that you have done in my life and everything that you're yet going to do. God, I thank you for your wisdom and your knowledge, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, my sister asked this morning, who are you to me? My God, you know, the word said, David said, taste and see that the Lord is good. Is God, I thank you for leaving me here to get a taste of you, God. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. And God, all of those that need deliverance, including myself, of some things. She told the Lord, Lord, I ask you in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus to deliver us, God. And only you can do it, God. I know you can do all things but fail, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Touch every household, God, in California and, and all 50 states, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Those that shouldn't be there, Lord, move them out in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you, God. I thank you for teaching me, God. I thank you for leaving me here to open up my mouth to help others come out of what you brought me out of, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, let your will be done. Lord, Lord, I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your grace, God. I thank you because you're my all in all, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, you know what we need before we even ask you, God, in the name of Jesus, God. You said if we delight ourselves in you, God, we would have <clears throat> our heart desires, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. You said, God, get in your word. He that has an ear, let him hear what that says. What that says, the Lord, in the name of Jesus, God. I ask you to, to deliver everybody, God, that needs it, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, and I ask you to go before me to my sister, <clears throat> precious house, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you know what she's going through over there, God, and it's not fast, you know, to, for her to go through what she's going through, what, what she's paying bills, God, in the name of Jesus, God, I know you can fix the problem, because I know you're a problem solver, God, but nothing too hard for you to do, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask you to touch the, touch the sick, the shed in, and the bereaved family everywhere, God, touch those in the convalescent home, touch those in the retirement home, Hallelujah. the army, the navy, the marines, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, have your way, God. The statue of rain is all around us, God, in the name of Jesus. Don't let no hurt on the danger come about. She told her, Satan, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare none of your schemes will work. Oh, God, he shaka ta da 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 shake it in a None of your schemes or plans will work. Oh, God's people, loose your whole heart shaka da 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 shake. He shaka da 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 shake it in a Loose your whole heart for God's people in the name of Jesus, God. And I ask you right now, Lord, to touch my response. Shaka da 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 Touch your body, God. Raise it up like you did, God. When Satan thought he had a God, I thank you for raising up, Lord. She's on the road, 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 she
it was good to hear a voice on the line this morning, God. Because I know you able, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. You shot I don't know what shot Lord, I ask you to bless every minister, every apostle, every preacher, every bishop, every teacher, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. God, we call it on you this morning, Jesus. We need you, God, <clears throat> in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. I know you able, God. I know you hear me, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God. I need you to walk with me, God. Teach me, God. Learn me what I need to learn, God. Let me learn what I need to learn, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. I know you able, God. I thank you for your son and God on the cross for us, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, and Lord, that mother... She come na 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 sha ta la la she. They lost her son. Trust and believe. You know I know what she's going through, God. My only son was murdered at 27 years old. So I know exactly how she's feeling, God. But God, you heal her. The hurt, God, that she's going through. ta la la she. The hurt that she's going through, God. I know you can fix it, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. You never get over that. I don't care how many kids you've got. You never get over that in the name of Jesus. Say lose your hope. He's talking about our shit over God's people right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You hear me, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We need you, and you know that, God. Thank you, Lord. I decree, I decree. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God. I decree and I declare that everything, God, everything, everybody that has breath, God, praise your own holy name, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That your will be done, Lord. We need you, God. Thank you, Lord. We need you. We can't get along without you, Lord. That your will be done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father God, we thank you for those that have gone before us, God, and prayed the prayer of faith. We thank you for those that have come into agreement as we have bombarded heaven on this morning. We decree and declare, God, in agreement. We come in agreement with your word. We come in agreement, God, with your spirit. We come in agreement, Father God, here on the earth with one another. We know because of the power of agreement that we have broken through the defense line of the enemy. We thank you because of the power of agreement, Father God, that we have gone into the realm of the spirit and pulled down every stronghold on this morning, Father God, and brought every thought into the love also. Every thought into captivity. And to the obedience of Christ Jesus. Yes, God, we thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, God, because of the power of agreement. Because of the power of agreement. Father God, we decree and declare that the enemy, the thief that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy is bound. We bind the enemy, God, that you declared in your word that he would magnify himself as an angel of light. 
God, we bind the spirit of the Antichrist right now. That spirit of divination, we come against it right now. That python spirit, we bind it right now. That spirit of Daffy, we bind it right now. The blood of Jesus. The blood, we apply the blood of Jesus even to the hearing and the hearers, God, of your word. We apply the blood of Jesus. We apply the blood of Jesus. I'm calling forth God for the intercessors. Pick us up in the realm of the spirit and connect. 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 I'm calling for the cunning women and the mourning women, God. Help us God to come out of that place of comfortability in the name of Jesus shake us God and wake us up in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Satan the Lord rebuke him the blood of Jesus is against you I bind that witch I bind the witch I bind the witch I bind the high priestess I bind you I bind and break up your demonic circles right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The blood prevail. I come against God generational curses right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against it. I come against it in the name of Jesus. Oh God, Shaba, you told us God, if we call you, you said that you would answer and show us great and mighty things, God, God that we know not of Jesus. Oh, Baba, Shanda, we're calling on your name, Jesus. There is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. Say the name of Jesus. Oh, my, na, 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 my, she, Oh God, oh my shanana, help us truth in the old sea, put the travail in us, God. Woo, shamana, yelananatia, put it in the bullshit, put the travail in us, put the travail in us, God, put the travail in us. Hey, manana, and they did a boh, ah, ya boh, shake about, hey, shandadia, see, for you said it in your word, God, as soon as Zion travail. Oh, ah, ba, 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 ha. Hey, Shonda, na, na, na. He and they. Shonda, oh, ba. She, na, 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 also. Hey. God, help us to travail this morning, God. God, send the breakthrough. Somebody need the breakthrough. Somebody, somebody, somebody need a breakthrough. Somebody, God. Somebody need to know who Jesus is. Somebody need to be saved. Somebody need to be healed. Somebody need to be delivered. Help God, we need your help. Help us about. Help God. Help Lord. Help Lord. Help Lord. Help Lord. Help Lord. We need you today, God. And we can't make it without you. We're coming into agreement. Oh, God, I come against the spirit of fear right now. Oh, my Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Touch the bishop. Touch the bishop right now. Touch right now. Mama, ma, she. Woo, touch God. Yes, God, my sister prayed for the ministers. I'm praying in agreement. Those that's on the front line. God, move. Move, God. Send help, God. Send help, Lord. Send help, Lord. Send help, Lord. 
Let the angels of the Lord assist us in this hour. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the angels of the Lord excel in strength. Beating back the forces of darkness. We bind principalities and powers. Oh, see, touch that man of God right now. Strengthen him in his body right now. In the name of Jesus. Touch Lord. Oh, strengthen, strengthen, strengthen. In it, your soul. I send your word, God, to every church house with a door standing open in your name. God. Yes, God. Yes, God. We invite your spirit in every church. I pray for the eyes of the saints. I pray for the eyes of the saints. I pray for the spiritual discernment, God. Let it be king. Let it be sharp in this hour. I pray God for the spiritual ears. I pray God that we can hear. Not only God. What the spirit of the Lord is saying. But let us hear when the enemy comes in. Father God, quicken us. Quicken us, God. Woo, quicken us. Shake us. Don't let us be comfortable in Zion, God. Help us today. Stir up the pure mind. Stir up the pure heart. Stir up the gifts this morning. Stir up the intercession this morning. Stir up the prophetic this morning. Yes, God. Yes, God, I come into agreement. Help us to come up. Up, up, up. Yes, Yes, God. Oh, Jesus. Help us, God. As you're calling us to stand in the gap. Help us, God. Oh, God. Help us, Lord. Help us, God, to come out from amongst them and be separated. And touch not the unclean thing. For then you said that you will receive us, God. Then you said that you would receive us. Help us, God, to put a difference between clean and unclean, holy and unholy. Yes, God, help us. Help us to find the old path, God. You said to seek for it because it's been lost. Seek for the old path. And when we find it, you said to walk therein. Yes, Father God, we need you this morning. We need you every day, every hour, every minute, every second of the day. Father God, you heard every name that has been called. Yes, Lord. You heard every prayer request, Father God. And we come into agreement, Father God. We come into into agreement right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We yield the right of way to the Holy Ghost. Uh Uh-huh, the chief intercessor. We yield the right away, Father God. Yes, God. We yield the right away. Yes, God. We yield the right away. We yield the right away. We yield the right away to the Holy Ghost this morning. Shanda na 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 we don't know what to pray for as we are, but your spirit make an intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. I want to pray, Father God, for Apostle Craig Lord this morning 
and for Acceleration Church as they make this transition. I want to pray, God, that you would allow the transition to be easy for them. I want to pray for court cases, Father God. Court cases. I want to pray for court cases. Yes, God. I want to pray for court cases. Got victory in the courthouse. Yes, God. Oh, yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for victory, God. I come against that murdering spirit right now. Mm. I cover our children with your blood in agreement with the prayer. Wherever our children are, Father God, I come in agreement, God, that in a motion for divine protection for our children. I pray for their purpose and their destiny, God. I pray, God, that you would cover them with your blood. I pray for war and angels and ministering angels and guardian angels, God. Rescue angels. And then it'll be Osha. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father God. We give you praise. I thank you for the currency, God. I call it forth from the north, the south, the east, and the west. I call forth the currency for your people. I decree and declare that there will be no more lack. Make us liberal givers in the kingdom. Let us be liberal givers in the kingdom, Father God. Help us, God. Yes, Father God, we love you today. We love you. I pray for every pastor to be encouraged. Encourage the hearts of your people. Life changing. I'm praying for life changing. No walls, no limits. Yes, God, I'm coming into agreement with the woman of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you as we, we get ready to leave the air, but we are continuing to pray. Adam, Loranda, Lorana, to get their children back. We're praying. We're continuing to pray. And if you would like to continue to send me uh, your prayer requests, we are going to pray over those prayer requests. I'm not just here just to be here, but I'm here on a kingdom assignment. Amen. And one of the things that God has called me to do, and that's to pray and bring the saints together. The Lord gave me this uh, mandate all the way back in 2005 when he told me, he said, I want you to bring my people back to their knees. Bring them back from city to city, from state to state. This year, uh, next month, we will be here praying on this line, the prayer ministry, 13 years. 13 years, and I give God praise for allowing us to be here. So if you would like to send me your prayer request, after we go off the air, uh, you can send it to I give you Jesus at gmail.com, and we will get it. And uh, if you would like to inbox me, we'll get it that way. If you uh, would like to send me a, a letter or something, you can send it to Pastor Lorraine Anderson. That's P.O. Box 522, Atlanta, California, 92301. If you would like to join us on our prayer line every day at 8 o'clock uh, a.m., that's Pacific Standard Time, you can join us by dialing that number 774-220-4000. Well, I love you with the love of the Lord. Thank you for hanging out with me on today. And this means war. And I'm going to let you go. I'm going to say those words I say every day. I decree and declare that you will have a blessed, wonderful, stress-free day in Jesus. God bless you and I love you. Mom, did, did you give them the code? You didn't give them the code. I didn't give them the code. So the code is, them. what, six, help me, daughter, six, four, six, it's six, four, three. Six four three four three five four. Amen. Amen. That is the code. You can connect with us every day at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock AM. We're on the line seven seven four two two zero four thousand. And the code is six four three four three five four and the pound sign. We love you. Be blessed in the Lord. Make it a great day on today. God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless everyone. Amen.